Welcome to the next scenario for Panzer Corps II Storm Over Europe 1940, part number one. I read through this briefing. Um, it's a land-based battle. You can read it over at your leisure. We need to take this city. Uh, there are elite French forces up there. We need to take that city as well for an elite objective. And uh, we need to hold this city here. Uh, at all costs or under all circumstance. We can start here and um, make it up uh, that road system there. Probably meet some characters on the way. My recollection is that we will. And there's elite French forces up to the north there. What happened to the um, the sea battle, well, I'm going to spare the viewers any um, in-depth knowledge or in detail uh, regarding why the Pacific DLC was canceled. I, I, I have, a, I have a, a strong theory that I believe is the truth of it. And if you want to know, play that scenario. You'll find out soon enough. Well, we got ourselves that legendary hero. Uh, that's uh, quite a a hefty number of incoming prestige I think we're gonna have each turn I'm gonna sort these guys out um, put some of these bombers back in this one comes to mind especially back in reserve okay so I have rearranged the units and heroes these are essentially I believe as they were before I just need to place a few more heroes this is the uh, Consolidated Provocateur in the uh, 38 TE tank. How is that still a TE, though? I don't think I downgraded this unit to a TA, so that's what we'll do there. This is a... <clears throat> has yet to be optimized tank. I believe this had ignores entrenchment here. I did. Alright, I rounded out these heroes. There are a few left that I have had, has yet to place or won't be placing. Provocateur and First Aid, I, I genuinely have no use for them. We have uh, our bridge engineer here. He's going to mull about with a uh, is that really the propaganda division? Uh, cer certainly um, inflatable uh, rafts and whatnot uh, that he can place on rivers is, is, is certainly consistent with the, the propaganda di division. We'll have him uh, maybe have some musical cohorts. Um, we can uh, create a, like a, a band like Led Zeppelin, only we'll have the bridge engineer version like the floating uh, bridge or the floating platoon or something like that. He'll get us uh, 140 prestige per turn, 50 for legendary here, 50 here, 20 here, and then 20 here as well. We we have this provocateur for a consolidator. It's unyielding. It should work. Uh, he, he won't destroy any unit he runs into, but then again, he doesn't have to because this unit will mop it up. This uh, sea tank has envelopment should be good against infantry if it can't completely destroy the unit it will surrenderize it provided it has no entrenchment this is our uh, dispatch no-brainer tank a G tank it should uh, destroy essentially anything it runs into generally speaking if it's not entrenched auto surrender here uh, no retaliation with liberator here we have a Whitman liberator distraction and aiming assistance our new um, fast deployment hero has been placed with the 15 centimeter with lethal he should be able to move quite some ways and do some serious damage this is the camouflage hero we bought from the second scenario here with plus one range a few extra points expert support shock tactics so if he fires at it, uh, we hopefully can surrenderize it. He has an extra 
range point. Would this range be better placed here? It would, it would, to be frank, yeah. Because this one can move and attack and, and probably will do with range, whereas if we have our camouflage, even if we do like move one and attack, let's see, if we don't move and attack, we can then deploy where we please. But if we move one and attack, then we're stuck there. and We won't be able to do our camo thing. So really, this, this unit is best for following the front and drawing the enemy toward you, whereas this one is better for engaging offensively. So I think that I'm going to place both of these back in reserve and then diddle with those heroes so that this one is even more uh, pronounced uh, defensively and this one is more so offensively. So this one can not only move and fire, but it can move and fire with plus one range. And this one here, I have no business attacking or moving. So if something is within three uh, hexes of this unit, I can attack it and then move. If something is in within four hexes of it, I can't attack it, but would have been able to attack it if I had this hero. So really for only a, a one-third uh, diminishment of my range, I gain something relative to my ability to attack with my lethal uh, fa fast deployment 15 centimeter. I think that's an improvement and that's uh, the story I'm going with. As for you, I upgraded uh, one of these uh, units here. It doesn't really do much. Uh, it uh, can offer some defense. Good for me. You, um, leadership here and Galand with the double attack, hit and run should do well enough. This is uh, Ulrich, a plus one spotting, or Rudel, expert recon with Prudent. Uh, lethal here, lethal and lethal. I think I have a Prudent hero that I I'm not using, I should probably place him somewhere on, say, you. Let's place these heroes, I'll be back. Fairly easy placement, essentially mostly around this area. Uh, I have, I'm gonna break my artillery in two groups. The lethal will head this way. The uh, camo with provocateur and this anti-air support will head up in this direction. And we'll see what becomes of it. Alrighty. So there is a pesky bunker. Uh, two, six. What are you? An 18 pounder there, I assume. Not particularly potent. How much are you worth? 120 plus 70 and you? Ah, 170 plus 150. Let's uh, surrenderize that unit. Let me see, immediately. Two eight, two eight, ten nine, ten nine indeed. Okay, uh, three one. There's a tenor there. How how tenor is that? Yeah, probably tenor enough. All right, so we go one eight, uh, two eight, <laughs> and you. Theoretically, we would want to take three points there. Six points, let's see. Uh, one point, three points. Let's take that. Hmm. Five points, ten points, hmm. 
Nine, eight, uh, hmm. and you, you, yes, you. Let's head up here, we'll go like this. Zot 9. That looks attractive, really. Let's see how far. Hmm. We can get here. And we can deploy here. I think we can overrun this unit. So, hmm. Let's try the Rudel unit. I see 14 points. Hmm. Still 14 points, I see. They didn't work out as as well as I might have hoped at all really hmm maybe there's something to be had okay so if we go like this we can Bomb that unit. unit really has no business in this mountain or on that mountain I'm gonna go there anyway okay so maybe we'll pop uh, I think we have to eliminate these bunkers as part of the infantry brigade I'm not really sure We'll go up here. We'll go defensive here. And then... Um, four points is four points, right? It is four points. Between this artillery and our destroyer tanks here, maybe we'll send this sea tank over in the other direction. That will do it. I think at least, right? These guys are AI controlled, they are. I wonder if they'll go faster. Took some damage, unfortunately. Here. Nine points. Hmm.
two and seven. There's ten points. Hmm. Six points or seven points, eight points, two points. Let's see, uh, quite a bit of prestige, if I don't miss my guess, 400 and some odd, but can we, yeah, we mostly destroy it. If we only had flexible command, we could have used half of this unit to uh, extract quite a bit of prestige there, I'm sure. as though the bunker doesn't count, but um, what can we do here? We'll go like that. Ten points. We can get something. Let's see what you have there. This is seven, nine. We'll take nine. We did ten points. We got nothing for our trouble. Eleven, eight. We'll take some damage. Why should I? Eight points. Let's see what goes on here. Our airfield is right there. How about you? Seven points. What if we go up here? And you are a four of eight entrenched mountain infantry in the rough. This is a recon car. I think he has aiming assistance, right? He does, so we'll get a 10% bonus. On the back end there, let's see, we can go like this. Surrenderize that unit. And then we can overrun this guy so he doesn't give us any trouble. With his recon ability. And then we can go like that. Head up here. And hope that this Joker here implodes on either of those two units from our Camouflage 15. Alright, we have as yet begun to bomb, really. We do need to support our bombers, theoretically at least, although I don't see fighters down here. So maybe we can attack this guy. And then just hope for a positive outcome and dredge ourselves up just a bit of prestige. Our 15 could well get bombed as well. Maybe we'll go like that. Bomb you. I see. I'll bomb you as well. That will do it. You know you want some, you gotta have it. He can do it. Uh-uh. not interested. That was relatively tame. We have this gladiator. 
He's not very good at what he does. All right. It's a wasp. Not in, not entrenched. You. 140. 140 and quite a bit, but we'll essentially explode if we go anywhere near it. So there's 12, 8, 7, 180. So 3, 180 or um, more. We'll get more, I believe, if we had, uh, pop that infantry. And then we can just go... Okay, so we go here, we get six points, so we'll want to put you away there. Eleven points. Hmm. I think we can turn that eleven into something more. I see, I see. Let's liberate that. Well, um, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's see. We can go there. Hmm. There. 111, 112. 112. Hmm. Let's see. 17 turns exactly is what we have. This guy really has no business on the field other than he has Ambusher. So, 111. And 111. I'm going to heal that. Go like this. Take that out. In theory, we probably can go. We can't. We've healed. You can go up here. And then you. Same. Well, okay, so this is a mountain infantryman. We would really want him to come off of his mountain. I see, I see. And attack our anti-air weapon for some damage. After which we can hopefully mop him up. And then you. Probably not be of much use. So we'll send him up next to the camouflaged 15 and see if anybody wants to tangle with him.
So far, so good. What happened up here? It doesn't look like much. Spitfire, Spitfire, or Hurricane. Let's see if we go here. the bomb on this artillery there he did he attacked good for me it's five points I think we can surrenderize him five of eight so we need to just simply bombard him that puts him six of six we need just a slight tap Good enough. Alright, and you can heal up, I believe. We'll go up here. Let loose on you. Theoretically, this thing could heal and then our bridge engineer could be of some use if we were to hit him with the shock tactics. I think we'll wait and see on uh, that outcome. I think that could be a process or procedure or whatnot going forward. Let's see. We have um, this guy has moved, and now we have uh, some prestige we can extract there. We'll not bother here, and we'll try to go forward here how far can you go quite some ways alrighty anti-tank heavy infantry rapid fire ferocious defense alright rapid fire ferocious defense Let's see. Perhaps Mr. Rapid Fire Ferocious Defense. Theoretically, this is a recon car, so it would see anything there. Which means that there's nothing here. And we can safely move forward here. I'll move you there. And move you there. Unfortunately, this recon car can move down here and attack that plane, but um, in the interest of dispatching that camouflaged anti tank weapon, will do it. Do we have. Let's see what happens here. We will attack here as well. Here. So we can go like that. You're stuck there. Hmm. Hmm. Do we care about supporting this uh, bridge engineer? Not really. So there's nothing theoretically here, right? So if we move you up here. Nothing's going to come through these mountains unless it's camouflaged. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll go up here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, right? And even if there were, it would require quite a bit of movement. So something comes screaming down here. They engage the provocateur. Which means that this thing will offer support fire to the provocateur. And we needn't worry about any of that. So, 
that says that. What does it say? I don't know. Maybe we'll go up here and call it a turn. This thing took a bath from our lethal uh -huh. Whoops. He got camoed there. This unit here. 21st Regiment. Okay, so uh, 6 of 10. Uh, 6 of 10. Does it say anything about no surrender? I don't see anything there about no surrender, no. You as well? Yeah. But I don't see, again, anything about no surrender. And this is a city. So the minimum entrenchment value there is four. Which means if we lower this guy down to five by popping him with our fighter plane, which is sort of not the best of ideas, really. Perhaps will not be as tight-fisted on the prestige as we might otherwise be. So that's six, three. That'll do it. Now he's at the minimum entrenchment value. We can attack him for two points, surrenderize him, get some prestige for our trouble. All right, so that um, makes life a little, a lot easier up here. Hmm. Well, why not? I think we have a liberator here, right? Yeah. So we can go one forward. So this area is probably mopped up, which means you have no business going up there. And you can nine points, nine points. I see we can't even get hmm, to four. Well, well. Three points. It's something. So we can go uh, forward here. Smash that unit. We can pop you. Six points or four points. Well, it's something. Let's see. Uh, here we have one point mountain infantry. I see. Complete overrun, so it's not bad per se. Who are you? 155 in anti tank mode. I see. What has become of our... They've taken our airfield there, I see. Hmm. And we've automatically rebased. Hmm. I see, I see. Let's bombard you, or bomb you. Soon. We're going to take some damage there because you are not actionable because you had to rebase. Hmm. Hmm. That was a 12, it turned to 13 because of this aiming assistance on this recon vehicle. 10% to all adjacent friendly units. We'll take this thing out as well. Get off the high ground. Let's see how far we can go here. 
quite some ways. We'll go like that. Repair. And then we'll go... Uh, are you Liberator? You're not. Oh, no. Go like this. Theoretically, there's nothing here, right? There's nothing there. Next turn. I stayed in the clothes. Looks like I did, yeah. Oops. It's a huge blunder. Yeah, that's a blunder, all right. Cost us a fair clip of elite replacements as well as prestige, unfortunately for me. some you lose some and see these are all friendly units I think we can head back up hmm or we can't hmm it's not it's not Eight points, eight points, five points. Hmm. Now we can. Eight points. Hmm. Let's go like that. I think without the aiming assistance, we'd be doing nine on this uh, AP AMC P16 instead of the ten. Instead, we're on a complete rampage here. And we'll save a round. Let's head forward here. Heal you up, heal you up. Let's redeploy up here. And maybe we'll go um, right here. Theoretically, this recon car has Liberator and it's going to be heading up this road anyway, so we'll save the points, the double points for. The Liberator. Who are these guys? We don't know. Let's carry on. I think we probably can surrenderize this unit and get our prestige back. In fact, that we're at 8 means we'll do less damage to him, which means we'll be able to extract more prestige. Got, we've done it. We can go and liberate that. Or we can get the heck out of this area and head back to extract some prestige from this lot here. And just not worry about this um, city hex. So we have uh, 
six there. Let's see what we can do. We can take some points there. Wanna do it? Let's check our award situation. One one. This one has three. It used to be a flame tank. Go like that. Let's see here. We have you. We can. 5, 10, we can go like that, 12 points, we need 3, looks like we have 4, go like that, oh, oh well, yeah, it's life in the big city. Let's see, one eight uh, you. This is a forest hex. We don't want anything to do with it. So we go here. Um, we'll go right here instead. Here, it's a rough, right? It's the rough. We'll go right there, get up here, use a green replacement. Let's head here. I think that does it. Unless we have, we do have some bombing to do. Mm, next turn. Okay, so four points, twelve points. That'll surrender him. We could maybe surrender this guy in another way. He has uh, three non suppressed points. We need two, that's eight. But I believe our friend here. has a f sufficient amount to extract. Uh, couple of 150 or 200 prestige from that unit we have a 40 actually this bridge engineer with the ambusher trait is, is quite uh, effective for extracting prestige without flexible command sometimes you can you split these units and you can have a say eight strength or seven strength unit here with the uh, overwhelming attack or, or envelopment hero attack a unit and, and extract more prestige but oftentimes as you'll note here it just does too much damage to, to be uh, at all effective but this thing it, it has ambusher and if you attack it what would happen you take a bath but it doesn't do much damage on the offense so maybe that's uh, all for the best let's see here one of six hmm I wonder how much damage our bridge engineer would do against this anti-aircraft. How much is it worth? A fair clip, really. It's at 3.30, right? 3.30, yeah. Hmm. And you? There's 10 there, 10. I see. Let's go and find out what goes on up here. Quite a bit of infantry there, all right. Mm -hmm. so you can go like that. We can go like that.
I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's going to work. So, this unit here has, has all these heroes. So, Andy's going to be able to elicit a lot of surrender. We're going to rename this guy the H-Bomb. Because he's going to win the war for us single-handedly by, by un, untold amounts of prestige incoming. So where was I here? These guys were doing this or that. Uh, we don't want to take any damage. Let's see. Uh, this is a uh, hill attack into... Hmm. Yeah, he will. Yeah. Let's move you up here. Uh, we can provocatize... Hmm. We'll go here, and then you, I see. Why did I do that? Because I like taking damage, or... Hmm. This unit will attack into, into the hills. Hmm. Hmm. Two and ten. We don't need any trouble, really. I bet. Um, well, I know, I know. So we'll go here and see if we can bombard or bomb this guy. We'll bomb you as well. One and ten, eight and five. Be nothing left of this Joker here. Therefore, we'll not have to worry about his attacks or would-be attacks. We'll go up here. Let's see, we have dispatched the enemy's air force, at least that would be the theory. Let's go like this. And we have done our thing here already next turn. Boom. This anti-tank went at our recon car, was redirected to the provocateur, which was supported by our camouflaged 15. Now this fellow here, four points. Which means now that he has Two points of non-suppressed uh, strength left, which means if we do one point to him, we should um, we should win, right? So we're doing four points. We'll surrenderize him, but we can pull this back. We we'll still do four points. I say. Well, some prestige is better than none. Let's see, this, uh, these guys here, 140, uh, 140, 140, 140, and, uh, hmm, this guy looks like a job for our H prestige H-bomb H unit. We're gonna, let's call him the prestige H-bomb. Or PHB for short. All right, so let's see. We are reasonably close to our last objective here. We have about half the time left, and there are quite a few uh, units up here for our PHB unit to uh, surrenderize in conjunction with this camouflage unit. We can move PHB right up here. Move it up here. I see. I see. Your liberator. Let's go liberate that. We'll go up here. Thirteen. Uh, mm -hmm, Ten. Twelve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's thirteen. Fourteen. The enemy air is um, visualized. 
theoretically we should be able to bomb these guys with some degree of impunity as he has no air force left theoretically at least right what's your three of ten there four of ten you ten of ten I say and seven of ten so these engineers and you let's see um, nothing about ferocious defense there uh, see is good for us and you Alpine okay so these guys are at the minimum value pretty much so they must have been shuffling about uh, doing what not why should I kill these guys when I can surrenderize them especially our uh, proper surrender vehicle here is it's on its way. Oh, wait a minute. What, what, what happened there? Liberator. So it's only worth 25. Well, what can I do? Go here. And then we can... Um, well, bombard these guys or bomb them. Get them de entrenched. Perhaps uh, grab some points here on this artillery's dime. Let go there. Two points. Um, go like so. And see what goes on up here. I think we can go like that and then repair with our meticulous planning trait. We can go like um, I see. We'll go there anyway. This unit will probably attack. I'd rather he attack here, but he's going to be redirected here and actually do some damage. Yeah, it's life in the big city. On we go. I oh, didn't do anything. No good for me. One of five, three suppression points. Let's see here. Zero, th six, and such. Um, four, four. Let's see what happens here. We need two points on the sky. Our PHB unit here. Boom. Surrenderize that unit. Let's see here, seven points. Where is our proper surrender vehicle here? 50 points there as well. And then we can bomb these units here. Let's head up here ASAP. Boom. So we still have seven turns to take that and extract as much prestige as possible. This guy theoretically should heal. happens here 12 points 12 points I think we can surrender this guy hmm Do we want to though we don't maybe we'll just uh, head up here hmm Toying with the enemy is usually not a good idea. Let's go ahead up here. 
You've moved, uh, you can... Uh, let's de-entrench this unit here, just because... Get a couple of points there. On we go. Alright, let's see here... This unit is at the minimum entrenchment value. Let's see, uh, PHP here. I see, but we'd have to pin that unit. I wonder if, well, I think that this unit's days are numbered. that nine points I see well nine points it is this unit is in the forest should surrender he did we can pin this unit and send PHB over Surrender. Let's get, uh, I see. We'll go here for liberation. Twelve points, ten points, no entrenchment. Let's, um, Rack up the award points here, if nothing else. healed up good for me and bad for him it's good for PHB though Let's see here we pinned him we need one point on him PHB is happy to oblige let's send our other surrender vehicle right up in this direction surrenderize that Joker as well all right we can proceed up in this direction PHB, let's see, we can send him up uh, here. We can send you here. Our camo 15 there. We can uh, bombard you, I believe, or you even better yet. PHB's target next turn here is at 37. Go like so. sure there's nothing going on over here everybody is healed up right next turn he did not heal how much was he worth a fair clip how about you 8 of 10 and we don't really know okay so 8 of 10 a nice sunny day here we can get him down to 6 and then that's a city I assume I assume So now he's at uh, at six. 
we'd want a singular attack here on him with our fighter plane. It gets him down to five, so one tap from this unit here. And he is done. We can uh, hmm. five up five there. How much are you worth? One sixty is not bad. Three of seven engineers, engineers. So if we pop them. I bet he heals up next turn. Maybe this guy heals up as well, who knows? He's anti-tank mode now. Let's go up here, we'll move you up here. We'll go up here. Use our air force to I say I say de-entrench the slot here. Let's see if we can take a few more points out of this unit. And we'll pop you as well. not heal but this one did so off you go minimum entrenchment value here is eight points seven points um, hmm well three points how about PHB PHB can do it so he's pinned what we want to do is liberate both of these territories. I see, I see. Yeah, we'll not worry either. Some prestige right there. Where's our other? Uh, he's here, I see. This entrenchment here. If we pop you and next turn I would hope that he heals up, who knows though. We can head up here and see about uh, extracting some prestige from that unit next turn. Next turn. He's healed up to nine full points, which means another job for PHB. Let's see, we have uh, no entrenchment here, and means that we can head over in that direction. Grab that prestige. Then, um, hmm, go right there as well. I think that is all four one, eleven, one. We've done it. There's the debriefing, uh, essentially uh, details that it's over, and there was no resistance uh, to speak of.
We'll go for the training, surely. There it is. Let's check the hero. Oh, there's no hero, unfortunately for me. Well, we'll be able to acquire more prestige. Uh, this PHP has worked out really well. Uh, let's go ahead and heal him with a green replacement. And the rest with no one else's damage. Good for me. So I, I can't help but crack another joke with this prestige H-bomb uh, guy with the some sort of heavy water joke. Uh, insert your own humor as as uh, available. 